Andrew here. Today I would like to teach you how to take x cubed plus 1 and divide it then by x minus i. So I'm going to teach you basically how to divide by an imaginary number. Now, it just turns out that you would treat this very, very similarly, you know, basically identically, uh, to how you would do any type of long division problem here involving polynomials. So simply take the numerator, write it down, x cubed plus 1. That's going to go on the inside of your division symbol, and then on the outside goes your divisor, x minus i. So the first step is you're going to take your leading term here, x, and figure out how many times it fits into the leading term there, x cubed. So when you have x cubed divided by x, it works out to be x squared. Now this is known as your quotient. And you always put the quotient here at the top. So just write x squared. Then what you're going to do is you're going to set up your parentheses now. And you're going to take this quotient and multiply it by this divisor. And what that's going to tell you now when you do this multiplication Okay, when you do the multiplication, x squared times x is going to be x cubed. x squared times negative i is going to be a negative x squared i. This is the term now that goes inside of your parentheses there. So write x cubed minus then x squared i. Fair. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take this negative symbol and distribute it to each of those terms inside of your parentheses. So this becomes a positive and that becomes a negative. And what should happen is that the leading term here should cancel. I mean, that's what we did, right? And now you're going to see if you can combine those. And we can't combine those because this has an x in it. Well, and also an i, right? So you're going to leave it x squared i plus 1. Now you got to repeat the process. This is like your new dividend. So take the divisor, take the leading term, figure out how many times it goes into the leading term here. So the leading term, so let's erase this over here. So it's going to be x squared i now. You can't just take it into the x squared. Take it into the x squared i. And then divide it now by x. And that's going to work out to be xi. So that's your new term here in your quotient. So plus, because it's positive, xi. Then set up your parentheses with a minus symbol. And then all you're going to do now, repeat the process as before. Take this term now, multiply it into this term. So you're going to do xi times x minus i. So xi times the x is going to be x squared i, and then xi times minus i is going to be a minus xi squared. Now you got to know something special about this, okay? About this x squared, uh, i squared, excuse me. I can't even tell my letters apart in it anymore. Anyway, i squared. So remember that i is defined as radical negative 1. And what that means is that i squared then would be equal to radical negative 1 squared. And you know the square cancels the radical, so that means i squared is simply equal to negative 1. So what I'm going to do then over here is I'm simply going to, instead of writing i squared, I'm going to write negative 1. And this now simplifies down to plus x, right? Because it's a negative 1 times the negative, all right? becomes positive and the x is left over. I can kind of get rid of that 1. So this is now the term that gets put into that bracket, uh, parenthesis. So right now, x squared i plus x. Great. Now what you're going to do is, again, distribute the negative symbol to each of those terms on the inside. So the first, they're both going to become negative, right? So that's going to be negative x and this, negative x squared i. Notice what's going to happen again. These terms go bye-bye, and that should happen. Then what you're left with is now you're left with a negative x, negative x, plus 1. And guess what we got to do? One more time. <laughs> One more time. See how many times this x fits into now the negative x. So it's negative x over x. Obviously, that's going to be equal to negative 1. So that's what you're going to add, minus 1. Okay. Then what you got to do, set up your parentheses. Okay. Put the minus symbol out there, then take the negative 1, multiply it by each term here. So basically, just the signs are going to change, right? It's going to be a negative x, and then this should become a positive i. Great. And then distribute now this negative symbol. Okay. So the first term is going to become positive. It should be a positive x and it should be a negative i. So there's going to be negative i and a positive x. What's going to happen to the x's? They go bye bye. And what you're left with now is you're left with 1 minus i. Right? 1 minus i. Now I'm going to stop the process here because there's no more x's left. Once you get down to a place where there's no more x's, you're done. And this now will represent part of your remainder. So since this is overall positive at the start, you're going to do plus. 
And then you're going to write 1 minus i, and that's going to all be now divided by whatever your divisor is, or in other words, your denominator. So just write x minus i. And that's it. That's basically it. Okay, that should now be the answer. Let me make that a little nicer. Right. Thanks for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this helps. And if it did, like and subscribe helps us out tremendously. And check out our channel because we have thousands of practice problems. That's the only way to become good at something is through practice and by doing problems. See you soon.